Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And welcome to another travel video. Yay. Yay. So behind us, I don't know if you can see, but our little dome house, we're saying farewell to it. And, Goodbye, delightful dome. And we are moving from Crestone, Colorado to Silverton, Colorado today. Yep. This is the big bulk of our trip. We wanted this for the experience. And um, next, we're going to stay in a different kind of place. It's more of a cabin or house. Right. And that's where the bulk of our trip is going to be. It's where we're going to be staying when we get married. And so we're excited to get there. So today is a travel day. We'll show you some of that. And then, of course, we'll show you the next place when we get there. What are we doing today? Anything in particular? Just getting there, I Just think. Just getting there the main thing. right now. But, yeah, if we have time and we get there early enough, we might apply for our marriage license. Um, but yeah, we got about four and a half to five hours of driving, um, on some windy, twisty, turny roads. Um, but it's going to be beautiful and we'll show you some of that. All right, guys, we stopped off for a minute to stretch. To stretch. Got a little creek here. And then these beautiful surroundings. Oh, speaking of which, beautiful mm. surroundings. There's a really noisy bird. I don't know if you can hear it. It's not a sound I hear back home. Of course not, Seth. Yeah, nice little stream. I, I love all the colors as we're going along. All the rocks are just different colors. Different colors, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. All right, we're gonna get back on the road.
All right, so we made it to destination number two. Yay. That trip sucked. <laughs> <laughs> that drive was no joke. Yeah, it was okay for a while, and then when we got to this like million dollar highway or whatever, <laughs> woo, the drop off was right there. No guardrail or no nothing. No shoulder, no. Scary. Yeah. So we did that. Uh, we the drive was a little bit longer than anticipated because. You know, there were times we were going 15 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, or whatever. We also had to stop at Walmart on the way. Um, so we're here at our second location, and yep. we are going to do a full house tour of this when we get settled and whatever. It's now about, I don't know, dinner time. So we'll give you a little sneak peek, and here it is. It's so cute. The decorations are so cute. There's a little dining area. Here's the kitchen. Sorry, the dishwasher's running. And there's like everything here, pretty much. Yeah, everything that you need. And here's the area we were sitting in. And we'll show you that later. Let's do a sneak peek of the outside as well. Oh, that's the part I love the most. Me too. We'll show you guys everything tomorrow when the sun's up, but can you see that? That's where we intend to spend a lot of time. There's this awesome walkway that goes down to a deck, and there's a stream that runs right under the deck. Yep. Amazing. And there's nobody else around here. No. This is the only building on the side of this mountain, so yeah, really, it's yeah. great. Yep. So, we, what are our plans for tonight? We're going to make some dinner. Yep. We are going to play some games. We're going to relax. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Tomorrow, I think we're going to head into town for a little bit. We went around town a little bit. It's an old mining town. There's not a lot here. There's cute little shops and some restaurants, but it's not one of those big, you know, towns with a Walmart and yeah, gas stations and all that kind of stuff. It's it's not like that, which is okay. Yeah, um, that's fine with me. Yeah, yeah. So we'll probably still have to hit a Walmart because we're here for what six nights. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, there's a little grocery store in town, but you know it's pretty limited. But anyway, this is where we'll stay during the wedding. So we're very excited, and we'll show you the rest soon. Soon, <laughs> yeah. All right, so when you come up the driveway, um, this is what you see. Here's a little gravel parking area. And then there's back at the driveway. It's super private, as you can see. There's trees all around. There's a road down below. You really don't get a lot of traffic noises. There are ATVs that you hear going by. Um, but it's not super loud, and, and you can't see them. Right. And here's this wood shed right here. That's pretty cool. We're here in August, so no need for that. At least not right now. Yep. There's the trash. So if you're here for an extended stay, you bring your trash around. and. Yeah, so there's a recycling and then a regular one for trash. Um, coming up to the walk here. Uh, that cooler is ours, but the grill, uh, gas grill, is here. And there's uh, utensils on the wall for it. Yeah, utensils over there on the wall. Cool little bench made out of snowboards. And then there is a hot tub, but I do not think it works. Yeah, it wasn't mentioned in the listing, so... Well, I don't think it was. John looked at this stuff more than me. Oh, as I said, there's not a lot of traffic. There goes dirt bikes. But anyway, it is a Saturday, so a little bit more traffic today. But anyways, I don't think the hot tub was mentioned in the listing, probably because it's not working. So we didn't plan on it. Yeah. So it was fine. This is the front deck. So pretty cool. We've got some flags. There's a Colorado flag, United States flag, and some flowers. Nice seating area. Decorations are really nice here. We keep seeing birds come and land in these trees. When we first came, I thought, 
I probably cut that tree out so you can see further. Now that we've been here, birds really do come to this area all the time. So that's kind of nice. And you can hear the little stream down below. Yeah, so this is the front, cool little seating areas, more flowers, and then you can see the deck continues on and there's the creek and right above the creek is a deck with a picnic table. So we'll walk down and show you that. Oh, this is where I think that's supposed to be for birds. I'm not sure, but little chipmunks love that. Yeah, they keep crawling in and out uh -huh. and running around. and. So yeah, this is our view. And let's head down. It's hard to tell from the listing how long of a walk it is, but it's very short. We didn't know if we'd want to haul food back and forth, but it, it's really close, actually. Yeah, it's really close. It's really cool. The sounds of the creek are very relaxing. Cool little picnic table. There is a little path into the woods that goes that way. And the water just comes from top of the mountain. Again, there's a view of the cabin. You can see the sun's about ready to set. I mean, sunset happens a little bit earlier here because yeah. it's going behind the mountain, right? The sun goes behind the mountain and then it starts to get a little cooler. So this is the downstairs, nice decor, couch, living room, dining room, kitchen, everything you need, washer and dryer, and this way we have bathroom down here with shower and everything you need and there's another bedroom downstairs here with bunk beds all right here we go up the stairs so nice little candles so upstairs there's two more areas to sleep so this house actually sleeps quite a few yeah this is where we're gonna sleep tonight. And it's nice, it has two side tables, a little bench for getting dressed. And then on this side, we just threw down our suitcase, there's a little place for hanging clothes. And I love that. It's all about the extra touches. And there's a little basket with, look at this. John can go like trying to catch butterflies and stuff tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Cute. Watch your noggin. Okay. All right. And then this way. There's a little office space. Certainly, if you had a child, or you know, depending on what your family situation is, there's a, a place for another sleeper here. Yep. There it is. I got a better view. And then there's there's another bathroom upstairs. Bathroom number. It's got a two. shower. Sink, toilet, everything you need. 